And that is Pro Alcoholics Commander out of the game, the first commander loss of the game. And you spread Christmas ornaments everywhere. Alrighty, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Beyond All Reasons. So today I have a 3v3 on the map Sertagata of version 5, if that means anything to you. We have a few very skilled players here today, and a few people that aren't so good. Um, so we can go over the teams real quick. While I'm doing that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you like content like this, so I know to make more of it. So starting off on the left team, it seems to be a bit on the weaker side, but don't let that fool you. We have Pro Randy in the red playing as Cortex. We have Not Too Good in the orange playing as Armada, and User Green in the yellow playing as Armada, who kindly sent this video in, so thank you very much for that. On the right side, we have Pro Alcoholic in the purple playing Armada. We have Jajebi playing Armada in green. And lastly, but not least, we have Seven Leguas in the blue playing Cortex. So, very nice, pretty flat map. Um, a lot like that um, Moon Duelist map. Um, if we're looking at the Mexes here, I believe they're all worth 2.1. Yes, that does seem to be correct. So pretty even spread on the Mexes here. We have a couple geothermal power uh, plant spots as well. I'm wondering if anyone's going to be going for those. And some small terrain features. So I think we're going to be seeing vehicles here, most likely. Um, bot lab, vehicle lab, and another bot lab. Honestly, bots, <laughs> bots seem to be pretty dominant for the early game for just a lot of people. Um, so we are getting two vehicle plants, one on each side, with the rest being bots. So as you can tell, and maybe I put in the title of the thumbnail, these teams are very, very lopsided. On the left side, we have two guys with a true score under 15, user green at level 14, and not too good at level 12. This does not mean that they don't know how to play, but it does mean that maybe they're not going to be as good as, you know, some people with some higher scores. So we have Pro Alcoholic um, at 14 here, so he is comparable to user green, um, although he has matured a bit like so you can tell with the icons here how much you just like played um so you can have like pretty cool insignia and then like a low true score it just means that your true score is pretty fleshed out i believe is the way that works so i think he has still even had some more experience than um this man from ukraine um and then we also have jajeb who is almost level 20 which is kind of around the baseline you want to be and start at and then we have uh seven leguas who is level 30 definitely a very very solid player um, so it's going to be on Pro Randy to try to carry his team for sure. Currently defending against ticks from Pro Alcoholic. Um, I don't think they've gotten to anything here. Um, they're definitely scouting. Might get this. Yeah, they do get the mechs that was being built. But the construction bot stays alive. And they go along with their day. So trying to take out Randy's economy first, I think, is probably most important. Like, these guys are never going to have the efficiency that this man on top here is going to have. So going for these people honestly is more of a waste of resources in my opinion and especially when you're opposite from him you're probably gonna come under fire from his units first so um trying to stall his economy at least a little bit i think is pretty important but um, we will see how this turns out pro randy might dedicate some resources to protecting his bottom players because when they may not be the best they're definitely um important to have as a buffer wall um distracting the players down here so uh, Randy can take them out systematically or through whatever wacky ta tactics. I rec uh, recognize that I didn't go over the wind speed, so it's a low of 2, high of 22. Start out pretty high, although it's dropping dramatically right now. Um, so very, very good wind speed. we got an average of like, what is that, 11, 12. Um, so you might want to build some batteries because it, it might get low there. Um, but honestly, very, very good wind speed. We even see Pro Randy going for some solo collectors there, which obviously I'm not nearly as good as pro randy but i i just don't think i would ever do that i would just go for batteries instead if you're if you're already going to use resources on on not making wind turbines i just go for uh some batteries but that's just me we do have some grunts here that have slipped past uh not too good defenses but we also have some blitzes that have caught up with them this max might go down but looks like seven isn't really uh microing him to attack it so Mex is going to be fine. Uh, Seven is pushed up very, very far here. Going to be making a couple laser towers, supporting himself with some more grunts that are coming up. Um, I'm assuming he's going to just be trying to control as much of the map as possible, um, taking advantage of slow expansion from some of the newer players, which is honestly a pretty smart choice, one that I definitely agree with. We got Pro Randy sneaking his commander up here. Has been spotted by Pro Alcoholic. 
which is such a funny name and i don't know if it's actually going to affect the, the viewing on this video because i'm saying alcoholic but you know what it's worth it it's worth it for the the cool name so i don't really mind and it's definitely mocking pro randy's which is great <laughs> mocking i don't know it's an admiration of we'll say i have no idea the intent behind it although i do think it's funny nonetheless we have user green building up quite a formidable force of ticks here um, looks like he's going to need them as we do have six grunts coming down south from seven here. They do just hop over this stone rock wall and we are going to see these grunts begin to do a little bit of damage. Look at this view. I love viewing the map this way. Seeing some fighting here from Pro Randy, Pro Alcoholic. How wonderful. Looks like they will be retreating their forces, though. A little bit of a stalemate here. They both have around the same number of grunts. Although it's actually a, another grunt and a medium take here, so you could definitely win on the, you know, he should be able to win just in, like, a flat engagement. A pitch battle, they would say, but we're not playing Total War. I wonder if anyone here would like me playing Total War. I, I did one video on Troy, but I know that wasn't the most popular Total War game, so I'm considering doing another one. Very, do really consider that. So let me know, I guess. Tick's just uh, go <laughs> going wherever, I guess. I'm not entirely sure where he's going with those guys. Um, but, yeah, so if I was Jajib, I would definitely just be trying to focus Pro Randy along with Pro Alcoholic. 2v1 him in the beginning to try to cripple his economy. Like, there's definitely stuff you could go after here. Making sure he's, like, stopping expansion. But I guess they just don't have vision on the map right now. Yeah, so he doesn't know. I mean, he does know Lazy Stripes being built there. He knows there's a mechs there, but he can't really see much else. Um, this spotting in it right here from Pro Alcoholic is very, very good. I didn't even notice that. So great spot for that. Um, he really is a pro. I mean, if you can be, if you, if you can get paid as an alcoholic, like, well, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good job there. I mean, not long term. You're gonna die, but at least you'll die having fun. Maybe not entirely sure. All these takes here from user green. He has 40, almost 40 of them down here. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Why? Um, I'm not entirely sure what the point of this is here. I feel like he's probably just going to, like, throw them in into, like, a really bad engagement somewhere. But I'm holding out hope here. I'm holding out hope for sure. So we do have a squad of grunts, it looks like, from Pro Randy. I'm going to be taking on some of Pro Alcoholic's uh, units here. Battle of the Pros. Ah, pros. That would be a battle of the pros. That would be a great, like, poetry uh, competition. Oh, if anyone is into poetry, make that. <laughs> That'd be cool. So, Tix just being eviscerated here with uh, all these grunts. He is now down to 28 uh, from 39. So, I mean, these guys shouldn't have just been thrown in like that. Like, they should have stayed a little bit away, try to get that mix. But, yeah, I mean, Tix... Having them in mass like that isn't really helpful in any way. Like pawns or grunts, having, you know, pumping out those kinds of units, I understand. But like ticks, not really going to be doing a whole lot, most likely. But we'll see. I'm holding out hope. Pro Randy's kind of just holding the line here um, as, I, as he moves forward, you know, just disproving me. It's my curse. Whenever I say something that a player's doing, I just get automatically contradicted. So it's great. Have a great time there. So we do have not too good uh, building up a fighting force of medium tanks. Hasn't really seen much engagement with other players yet. But, um, you know, medium tanks are very formidable tier 1 unit for sure. Um, probably the most cost effective, I would, I would caution. Um, we do have this light artillery going ham on uh, this laser tower and radar tower. It'll eventually go down in the next 20 years. So we have that to look forward to. And speaking of light artillery, we do have three shell shockers here from Alcoholic. Trying to target some of these laser towers that Pro Randy's building. Smart move. Um, if he wants to dive in with some units, maybe try to get at that commander. But there's a lot of other uh, laser towers as well. So probably not going to come to much at the end of the day. But it's always good to have long range units like that firing at something. Um, even if it's not like the most optimal target, which... You know, they got it. They, they destroyed a laser tower, so good on them. Uh, Going to be destroying a couple more, it looks like, here. Another one goes down. That one's almost dead. And, uh, oh, this laser tower is finally down from this brave shell shocker here from Not Too Good. So great. Um, seven needs some energy, it looks like. 
I mean, it looks like he's doing fine, but maybe he's anticipating a build up here. And he's also built solar collectors, so I guess there's something I'm missing here. Maybe solar collectors are just more efficient than batteries. But I, maybe just stores of energy just run out too quickly for batteries to be effective. That, which is probably the case, so. If anyone has more insight, let me know, as always. I've, I do appreciate the comments. Help me get better at the game and casting it, so I'm always appreciative. How many ticks are we up to? 73. I feel like there's just like a, a point where you reach too many for them to be effective because they don't have a lot of range. So you're kind of just like losing out by having that many, but that's just me. Um, so we do have medium tanks here from Pro Randy. I'm going to be targeting some of Pro Alcoholics, medium tanks. Um, now I don't know exactly how Brutes stack up to Stouts. I think they might have a little bit less health, but a little bit more DPS. And that does look to be false, as they have a little bit less DPS and a little bit more health. So, funny how I just lied to you there. <laughs> so we have Shurikens here from Pro Randy, going to be going to town. Very, very nice here. Um, so, Stouts are being destroyed left and right. Uh, Shurikens also being a little bit, you know, taking a little bit of damage. Pro Alcoholic is just taking constant damage from this aggravator. Does notice it, tries to move out of the way. But it looks like these brutes are just going to take him out. I mean, they're actually going for this tier 1 vehicle plant, but uh, looks like he's cloaked. Going to be going for the D-gun there. Very, very good strategy. Gets two very, very nice D-guns off. Um, but he's still losing a lot of health, and he will be going down here most likely. Maybe not, though. He is down to 22% here. He has cloaked himself again. Looks like he's going for the self-destruct. Trying to take out... Uh, some of those brutes, but he does end up missing, and that is Pro Alcoholics Commander out of the game, the first commander loss of the game. He spread Christmas ornaments everywhere, even though Christmas ended a little bit ago. We'll return back to a more normal view here. Uh, 72 ticks. So it looks like he's not building anymore. He's not building anything. Is he capped in like metal or something? He's actively losing metal, although he's building a Dragon's Claw. So, he does have a medium artillery, Dragon's Claw, very, very, he's just fortifying this southern point, which is weird, because this point is the worst, because anything could just walk through here. There's a couple laser towers, I guess, but, anyways, Pro Randy, uh, pushing, he's on the offensive, has a commander kill under his belt, and he's just generally, you know, being very destructive. Now, we do have seven here, on tier two, he has an aircraft plant, and also an advanced bot lab, um, Sorry, I missed that. Pro Ranny just detonated. Did lose his commander right there. There's now two commanders down, one for each side. Um, Pro Randy is not on tier two. He has a vehicle plant and an aircraft plant. And I don't think, yeah, these guys are tier one. We do have Jejeb going tier two here. And Pro Alcoholic staying on that tier one game. So lots of fighters here from seven. Looks like he is planning on controlling the airspace. Um, for the rest of the game, it looks like, and uh, Pro Randy doesn't really have anything to combat that for now. Uh, so he's going to be a little bit vulnerable, maybe going to be seeing some AA being built, most likely. That's what I would imagine. We do have Not Too Good being pushed back here by a huge push from Jajib. Um, so he has medium tanks and also some Janices, so some rocket bots that do, do a ton of damage um, if you can keep them out of harm's way. We also have ticks here from user green. I think trying to go after his friend's tanks, but he does reorient. So the ticks are finally becoming useful, pushing back all those medium tanks. But you just see so many go down at once because of the AOE of these rockets. And uh, ticks managed to take out a whole uh, medium tank there. So I think they actually took out two. But yeah, um, that's why you don't build up ticks, because they're uh, basically useless, uh, except you're scouting or killing like mexes or something. But. Uh, Zajib doesn't, or Zajib, oops, Seven doesn't really have any ground forces. He is making some pyros here. Where's this guy going? Looks like he's trying to regroup with his friend up here. So maybe doing a little bit of a push behind Pro Randy's back. Pro Randy does have some fighters up in the sky, though. Um, of course, he wouldn't just surrender his airspace like that. Um, so he is doing a little push with these medium tanks here, going north and south. Uh, meeting some resistance with these laser towers, but ultimately just going to be taking out those mexes, uh, clearing out the mechs down here. And there's not a whole lot of ground forces to stop them, 
Uh, so he is definitely going to be doing uh, some damage to some people's economy right now. Probably pro alcoholics, because um, going south might be risky. Just letting people you know build up. Um, Gigi pushing forward again. Uh, this push is definitely weaker. Uh, he does have his commander up here, um, and these Janus rockets are just crazy good against these medium tanks. I think I need to use these guys more. Um, but yeah, that's basically not too good. It's whole tank line just being destroyed right there. Um, now there's no medium tanks to take the attacks, so Janus's are also going down. But overall, I'd say that's a very good push for him. Definitely winning that engagement. And if he goes onto this base, and he's going to do very well. There's a tier 2 here from Not Too Good. Um, Pro Randy is still on tier 1, as well as User Green. User Green, this is like annoying me because he's yellow, but he, he sh definitely should just be green. <laughs> so we do have Pro Randy getting down here with a couple medium tanks, taking out a few mexes, a few wind turbines, trying to take down those laser towers, but he does go down. No surprises there. Bunch of paralyzed medium tanks down here. And by bunch, I just mean only two are paralyzed, and the rest are just trying to wreak havoc. So we have metal converters being taken down there. Well, energy converters, my bad. They convert energy into metal, so... Um, honestly, Pro Randy, killing the game right now. Um, wiping the floor uh, with Pro Alcoholic. And he's not really meeting much resistance from Jajib or Seven here. Um, which I kind of thought in the start that he would just get double teamed. But Jajib has definitely gone more for not too good. But he's just stopped his push before going in for the for the kill. I mean, there's so much you know valuables to be destroyed there. Um, but he's still moving his commander forward for some reclaim, which not a bad idea. But honestly, move these light units in, man. You can do a lot of damage right now while he's weak. But I guess that's not the plan. We do have... <laughs> this is great. Construction bots uh, dematerializing these metal extractors. So that's wonderful. I think that's pretty funny. Um, we're seeing a buildup of some centurions from user green. Probably will never see those guys in action. He, he definitely likes to build up units, which is... You definitely want to have a decent amount of units before you go in for a push, but he's building up units very slowly and then he just lets them sit. So and we have Jajib with some bulls and some light units down here. Um, looks like he's probably going to be building them up for a push towards Pro Randy's base. Um, not really worried about Jajib anymore as Jajib is now building up some uh, tier 2 units, some Jaguars, which is why you wanted to get... Oh, he was so close to getting rid of a tier 2 player, but he, he just decided not to, which is, you know, really unfortunate. And he knows what his base look. Or uh, I just lied. I mean, he didn't know what was there. He knows a little bit. I don't know. I I would have just gone in for the push, but he probably thought there were laser towers that would just take out his remaining Genesis. So I kind of understand. Metal storage down here. Really odd play, I guess. I don't really understand that, but it's a little funny. Gigi moving down some bulls and some light tanks here, trying to combat Pro Randy's push as Pro Alcoholic is recovering a little bit, although he's not really building anything. Gonna go for a mech there, makes sense. Tier 2 units coming out, some hounds, very, very good units. Pretty cost effective as well. You don't really see them die a lot, so unless you're committing them in bad engagements, or not microing them, so like this guy's probably gonna go down, but you shouldn't have. Pyros from Pro Randy, which does mean Pro Randy is now at Tier 2, and I just lied again. <laughs> I don't know how he got those. He might have resurrected them? Ah, user green is sharing units with them, I see. So, user green... Nope, I just lied again. So, I mean, he is sharing units with them, but those are tier 1. And this is a vehicle plant, which doesn't make pyros. So I guess he would have had to resurrect it then? Oh, and he's a tier, advanced bot level up here. Okay, I, I was very confused there, which I should not have been. I should have been paying more attention. So I'm going to get flagged for that, definitely. But uh, we do have Pro Randy here taking out an advanced bot lab here with those medium tanks. He's going to be going down south, taking out some more mexes. Some pyros from Seven, uh, trying to come up and destroy that little push there. Uh, seems like they're... Have these guys been nerfed? Are they, they like, slower? 83 speed compared to 73. I mean, they should catch up. I mean, they will catch up, but I mean, they just seem to be moving a little slower than I thought they would. But also, the micro is not like... He's not, you know, attack moving. He's just moving. They do go down there. Uh, we did have Pro Alcoholic leave the game. So that's basically the North player taken out. It's now a 2v3, which is Jeeb's commander going down here, right in the middle of the map, by a, from a play by Pro Randy. So if Seven's commander goes down, the game is over for the right side team. 
God be wary of that. Um, Perrini doesn't have a ton of units to use for something like that. He is amassing some pyros, uh, some riot tanks. I'm just generally trying to build a com build up an army. As Seven does have a little bit larger of an army of pyros. Um, and then the Shajib is definitely still on the field here. Um, as we do have not too good building up some Mausers. Which, uh, mobile artillery, you know, they're going to be doing some damage. Taking out some legendaries here and there. Maybe even getting into some economy units, so... Uh, looks like <laughs> Pro Randy doesn't care about these guys. <laughs> he doesn't want the Centurions. Makes sense. I mean, they're not going to be super effective, although... You could definitely push here. I mean, there's just open mexes here from 7 that, you know, you could be taking out. Even get getting uh, into his base there if he, if he doesn't really notice. So, 7... Gigi believes that he should just surrender. Or he thinks it's over. Seven thinks that they could still pull out a win here, which I'm not inclined to disagree with them. I think they're definitely on the back foot. But, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think a big misstep here was not taking out not too good. Because even just having some units down here is just really annoying. And then it gives the possibility of, like, donating economy units or just, like, or economy buildings or, like, tier two units to pro randy which you don't really want that to be happening um i don't know he should have just been taken out either way we do have some pyros five pyros here from pro randy gonna be sneaking around at the eastern wall eastern border of the map um as some pyros from seven are not gonna be able to catch up because they're the same speed <laughs> um laser tower is gonna be doing a little bit of damage hound's gonna be doing a little bit of damage um and what's their goal where are they trying to get they're just going down the corner so I think they're just, yeah, they're just drawing Seven's army down as he amasses another army up here on the northern border with some medium tanks and some riot tanks, and then also some units from Not Too Good. Please give me, oh, tier two. I thought he said 12 constructors. I'm like, what? Um, we do have shirt, uh, oh my gosh. I did not know this was a thing. So the air transport from Seven just air transported a paralyzed unit. This is really cool. I did not know this was a thing. Part of me. I'm not sure what the what what the point of this is. Oh, just dropping in like Seven's commander's range to kill. I don't I don't know what the point of this is, but it's really funny. I think that's the most important part. <laughs> uh, so we do have air transport with some fiends in there. And Pro Randy moving in with shurikens, medium tanks, riot tanks, Mausers in the back. Gonna be definitely doing some damage. I really want to see how this goes. Another so air trans they can't pick up the moving ones, but if they're paralyzed, they can. So that's pretty cool. So that's two fiends off the field. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, Shajib trying to defend his base here um, with some of these bulls, uh, which you know very very good, but also not the fastest. Um, these medium tanks are just gonna outrun them. Gonna be making circles around the base, going for this tier two mechs makes sense. Also the laser tower. And then probably the tier 2 mechs. Um, rest of the units are being retreated. I think a few Mausers went down there. Definitely some riot tanks and some medium tanks did go down. Oh, I think all the riot tanks went down. As there's one right up here. Yeah, so almost all of them did. Uh, medium tanks trying to go for that tier 2. And they do end up destroying that tier 2. So Jajib definitely on the back foot. Eastern team is just on the back foot in general. <laughs> Looks like those air transports and fiends just get taken out one and all so um and oh i have the curse of the spectator just drawing everywhere for no reason so sad i hate when that happens mauser's just peppering this construction <laughs> vehicle into the dirt they don't care fiends almost takes out this laser tower he's gonna be going down there kind of funny laser tower with two fiend kills how many kills does this laser tower just two. Well, those are the only two. And we do have this advanced construction vehicle here from Not Too Good. I'm trying to gift it to user green, but honestly, I mean, yeah. Uh, Fiend going to be doing some damage on these wind turbines here. Maybe even taking out... Nah. I was going to say maybe take out a solo collector, but no. They're too much health. Which might also be a reason why you build them in the early game, because solo collectors do just have... A lot of health for being like you know that type of building 
You have anti-air here from these mats cores. Heavy amphibious anti-air bot. Gonna be taking out any of those shurikens from seven. Gonna be rolling up with these ride tanks. Tier one units, nice. Sumos and uh, some brutes as well. So honestly, just a tier one army just clearing out a uh, jajib here. As the vehicle plant does go down, construction vehicles are destroyed. Bull going down there after heavy enemy fire as Starlight also goes down. And that's just probably going to be the GG. We do have some atomic bombers here from 7. Going to be going for someone's base or commander. Most likely a commander, but we already have one atomic bomber going down. And this chainsaw, oh my gosh, takes out another one. So, um... Yeah, very, very good anti-air there. Glad they had that. Seven's commander does end up going down, and that is going to be the tap out from the Eastern team. The forceful tap out. You know, they got they got knocked unconscious. So they did well. I think it was a very good game. Honestly, um, I knew who was going to win at the start. I did see. But if I didn't know that, I would not have expected the left side to win. Not because Pro Randy's bad, but just because having two players like that that are pretty passive is, is never a good thing. But... um. Like, if we see, like, units killed, like, user green, like, barely killed. N not, I, I understand why. They're a newer player. I thank them very much for the replay. And obviously, everyone has to learn. Not like I'm much better. But you know, they're very positive. They, di they didn't really kill anyone. I don't even, like, this is, like, the, what, 28 mark? They didn't even kill 28 units. Like, uh, this is, like, maybe 16, 17. Not too good. Definitely did better. Actually, the third player overall for units killed. Um, which I didn't really notice. Um, he did make those final pushes there, which I think did elevate his score a little bit. Um, but yeah, Pro Randy just outstrips his entire team and the other the enemy team as well. And I'm surprised that uh, Seven did this poorly as well. Um, but obviously, units killed isn't everything. Um, we can look at a lot of different stats here, like damage dealt. Um, Seven does climb, uh, as does Jajib. And then we see user two, or not two, and user you know, being very low here. But anyways, thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe if you do want to see more stuff like this, and I'll see you all later. Adios.